okay, because here's the thing. We did a, a grand old meeting in this room, yep. and we had everything figured out, yep. and these fuckers were whoa, like, whoa, whoa. we can't be involved, Mostly, man. so wait, wait. they put me in charge. And then Jason, I just gave my design opinion. No, you were just like, Scott, don't do this. This is the best part of your design. And I'm like, whoa, I didn't know after not being here for a month, you could just steal my project like that. <laughs> <laughs> Doug is on board with what I pitched, uh, essentially. I, I, I am on board with action, with launching something. I'm on team move forward. That is the team I'm on right now too, because March is right around the corner. In terms of production, like we're making good headway. Both Scott and Owen are like nose to the grindstone. Oh, yeah. And they're, they're yeah. pumping they know things out. Doing. Here's Owen. <laughs> Okay. Here we go. These are some oh. uh, maple with cherry dials. All right. Cherry with maple dials. The One same. Second. Let me, let me, let me, because I, I want to understand this, the lineup. So the lineup is we will sell individual trackers. Trackers. Not tiles. Really? Oh, are you? Well, we can't call them tiles. We have a we system have called tiles. If we call these tiles, that'll be super confusing. So I think all of these things just okay. need to be called trackers. Okay. So this is a tracker and it is by. It's by character class, correct? Yes. For 5e, 5e right? Like yes. very specifically. Fuck all the others. Okay, Jason. Yes. First of all, are you pro selling singleton trackers? Oh yeah. Are you pro selling singleton trackers? Yes. Okay. So far, we agree. It's a great yeah. meeting. Well, That's like the hardest. <laughs> so what would you change about this? And then I want Jason. Let's mm -hmm. see what Jason says. I don't think we have time to go in and redesign everything. I love the flavor here. I think it's a little bit too in your face. I want to keep the flavor and just make sure that the function is readable and you're not too many things aren't jumping out at you at once. All right, Jason, how is Bobby wrong? The email, what I got from the email, Bobby sent a very good like, here's the idea of this Kickstarter. And it was like, we need to strip these down because it will be more like Wormwood. And I brought up like, is this a Wormwood product or is this a Paladin Woodworking product? I'm not trying to make it more Wormwood. I'm, just, yeah. I'm trying to make it the best version of itself. If yeah. we take all of this stuff and we redesign it, even if it's better, if it comes from Jason's head, are we even working with Scott anymore? Are we even using Scott's product anymore? So if it was good enough for us to like enough to want to start this process, I don't know why we would try to change it once we're close to launching. Yes. The thing I actually like about this is like the intricate laser artwork, which is why I don't really want to wormwoodify it. I don't want to wormwoodify like, it either. I want to I keep want to, like, it. Strip it down, simplify you don't it. Think, did you see the differences that Scott sent over when he just simply changed the font to yeah. not all caps. It already looks better. Of course it already looks better. Yeah. Because of my suggestions. Yeah. Do you think now it has lost what made it look so good? Because that's, no, 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 that's no. all where I want to bring it. I actually have to go. It's 2.30. I'm a piece of garbage. So I'm going to go, but I think you guys should actually figure out the... I had suggested, why don't we just offer a rolling tray? This. That like click together. And then you can build whatever you want. He doesn't think he can make a rolling tray that will be compelling. Oh, and I'm like, sure. the rolling tray doesn't have to be compelling. The modularity that it clicks onto this yeah. is what makes it compelling. Mm -hmm. I just always go like, how do you make this more compelling to add on more and more and more over time? Rather yeah. than like, you buy this, that person's never buying anything ever again from us. This is true. Mm. I was doing what I knew was possible. Um, yes, we could launch these products. I don't think we should launch them as is through Wormwood. We should talk to Scott and we should talk about how quickly he could mock something like that up and send it to Owen, because I do think that that is totally badass, and it just click. That would be cool. It would be cool. This is the problem, I'm like, this is such a nice product, but it is a laser cut product. The only thing we sell is craftsmanship. <laughs> it's like, that is what we sell. Right. Is it, this is not craftsmanship. We sell resin dice from China. Yeah, as add-ons. Yeah, or entire Kickstarters. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I understand what you're saying about the craftsmanship and it being a Wormwood brand and stuff. I guess I just don't see why we can't offer different things. Like if we were all about the craftsmanship and all about the hand touch, then we would just stay doing prophecies and we wouldn't move into MGT, you know? I think the Wormwood brand is it started as craftsmanship and it's more. I mean, with Worm Life and the different types of products that we do, we got candles coming out. We did a, a deck of tarot cards. The strength of the Wormwood brand is that the Wormwood brand could kind of be whatever it wants to be. You know what I'm saying? You look at the tracker tile. We have like nice cast brass dials. Mm -hmm. It's like such a different. It's a different brand. I have one question. 
Are we going to make fudge compatible trackers? What? Fudge. Plus minus. Fudge. <laughs> what? Fudge. <laughs> One week later. I did see the video Scott made of the redesign based on, I believe, Jason's input. So I took the, the new Squire design that we developed last week and modified it again. I put some new magnets on the front and back. Got the storage for the balls on the side. And that also has magnets in it, so the Squire now clicks in. That will click into either top or bottom. My idea was to size the playing surface so that when you're finished with this stuff, these actually sit right in there together. It's cool. No, it's, I it's think it's really good. I liked it. Then Jason was kind of like, oh, can we make the tray taller? Can we have, make this taller so it has storage? I think the, the fact that it's so sleek in a sleeve and it could like fit into a backpack, yeah. when, when we make it higher, Portable's it kind dead. of yep. seems like a, something you'd leave at home. The point of this product isn't storage, it's to track. Our products are about storage. Unless anyone has any pushback, like no, this should definitely have storage. The only reason I said like, whoa, why don't we just make this storage? Is Scott was like, oh, I like the High King because it's got the storage and the dice tray and all that. And I'm like, yeah. there's no reason why we can't put some storage under here, mm -hmm. make the rolling tray deeper so it's a little bit more useful mm -hmm. and kind of serve the same function. And I'm just like, I'm gonna keep giving design input until you tell me to stop. <laughs> I'll just yeah. keep being like, hey, how about this? 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 How about that? Until you're like, nope, we have the product we like. This is what we're launching. Uh, okay, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> just so I'm clear. Yep. The product offerings are a tracker, Bunch of a trackers. variety of trackers, of this tracker holder, the tracker sleeve or something. Tracker sleeve. I like right. the word sleeve. And then there is a larger version that you yes. can put two sleeves into that these two can then magnetically attach to in a modular way. It's basically a rolling tray, a bunch of different trackers in this body, and, and then sleeves. they can all you can use one, you can use three, you can use, and they all work in different way. He made a single. Oh, oh that's fun. Oh. oh! That's so cute. I that's like that product. That was cool. Oh, me too. Yeah. Okay, I feel, I feel great about this now. Now we've got trackers, mm -hmm. we've got the tracker box, yeah. the tracker sleeve, for the, for and the, the tracker tray. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, that's very so yes. Owen, make one version of everything, and then I'm gonna bring that to engineering so that they can start to do their modeling and create the what they need to do. Next week, which I'm not gonna be here, I think Jason, Bennett, and Johnny should spend maybe the whole week running time trials with you. And then we just document that whole thing. So then we can set our pricing, we have our photo set, and then you're ready to launch Kickstarter. Yeah, and on top of that, I've sent Brant all of these AI files, he's and he's completely redoing all the iconography. The, 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 the artwork? Yeah. That's great. Okay, that sounds like a game plan then. Second order of business. Oh. That's a big one. Oh. This is, this right. is like kind of the decision. <laughs> I mentioned to him like, hey, what do you think about us just fulfilling this and it being branded your product? And he's very interested in that. So here's, here's the conflict in my mind. Look, we're doing the manufacturing. We have the Craftsman's Promise. We want it to be branded Wormwood so that when three years from now, Jason's gaming over this person's house, they see the Wormwood, he goes and Googles Wormwood, gets to our page. That's why I want it to be Wormwood. If we're gonna sell it on our website. Uh, well, no, I would want them, I want them to come to the website no matter what. Well, sure. But they would come looking for that product and if that's not on our website, then. Well, oh no, they'll have to buy another cool accessory no, I'm we just made. Saying, that I'm would just be saying, awful. I'm with you, I'm yeah, with you. I'm you're, you're correct. If we are going to have Paladin Woodworking on this, we need to have an exclusivity with him for X number of years. We basically are the exclusive manufacturer of oh, all yeah. Paladin Woodworking. So then if someone Googles Paladin Woodworking and goes to that site, and buys it, yep. we will fulfill it, yep. and then he'll just get a design fee. What if we have like made at Wormwood or something like that? I was just like on the say, bottom, like, like made by Wormwood, crafted at Wormwood, something. Yeah. yeah, like the candles. They're not Wormwood candle. I mean, they are Wormwood right. candles, but Cantrip made them. And then just at the bottom of, of the of the label, it says poured by Cantrip candles. Yeah. I feel the best about taking our logo, melding it with the Paladin Woodworking logo, rebranding it Wormwood Essentials, and this is a lower price point 
line of role playing accessories. Yeah, that's I, how I feel. I love that as long as we can get this to a price point that actually is I think we will. value. The only thing that pops in my head with that is like, you know, does does the amalgamation of the Wormwood and the Paladin brand end up just not meaning anything about Paladin. Correct. Yeah. I don't think Scott cares that much. I think what Scott wants to do is be involved, make cool shit. He's a busy guy. He yeah. wants a low impact, passive way to create income. I think it's like he wants to do the fun design work, which yeah. is what I love to do, and he doesn't want to do any of the not fun work, which I also <laughs> hate doing. Yeah. It's a sweet deal for everybody involved. Okay. okay, I feel like we solved pretty much all our problems and have a timeline. Leather, leather rolling surface. Mm. If we want these cheap, we cannot do oiled leather. I, I think we have two good options that we can solve next week. I think we should try cork, and then we should try the synthetic leather. I think those are both in the same, in the correct price point. You should figure that out this week. Try and make one of cork, and then just go grab any synthetic leather we have that'll fit, and cut it out of that. We'll just see. One of everything, and then two trays, one cork, one synthetic leather. Bingo. Yes. Cool. Thank you all. Are we good? I. This doesn't have to be great. I have nothing to say. Sometimes I just start talking because I'm like, I'll have something to say by the time I finish <laughs> this bullshit sentence. <laughs> 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 What the fuck is this shirt? Yeah, you like that? <laughs> oh, look at this! That is sick. You're stealing Ed's brand. Psychedelic fuckies. Ed used to date someone from Texas, and now I'm dating someone Are from Texas. Are you really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that really? why you have a mullet? <laughs> <laughs>